studied quantum numbers. This clearly explains you what are the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in each subshell. Say for example, p orbitals can accommodate 6 electrons, d orbitals can accommodate 10 electrons and f orbitals can accommodate 14 electrons. p orbitals can accommodate 6 electrons, d orbitals can accommodate 10 electrons and f orbitals can accommodate 14 electrons. And you know that if p orbital or d orbital or f orbital is half filled, exactly half filled, it is more stable than the partially filled orbitals. What is the half filled configuration of p orbital? p orbital can accommodate 6 electrons. If it contains only 3 electrons, then it is said to be half filled. Similarly, for d orbitals, d5, for f orbital, f7 are the half filled configurations. These half filled orbitals are more stable than the partially filled orbitals. One of the reason for this stability is exchange energy. What is exchange energy? If two or more electrons with same spin are present in degenerate orbitals, there is a probability for exchange their position. During this process, some energy is released and this energy is called as exchange energy. Let us explain this with an example. Take this d orbital with 5 electrons that is exactly half filled with same spin like this. This is the first electron, second electron, third, fourth and the fifth electron. Now, there is a probability for the first electron to exchange its position with the second, third, fourth or the fifth electron like this. First electron exchange its position with the second electron and this may exchange its position with the third electron or with fourth electron or with fifth electron like this. In the same way, you can expect some more exchanges. The second electron can exchange its position with the third, fourth or fifth. Here, I did not draw the exchange between second and first. Do you know why? The second electron already exchanges its position with the first electron as shown here. So, there is 3 probabilities for the second electron and 4 exchange probabilities for the first electron. Similarly, you can expect exchanging probabilities for the third electron, fourth electron and fifth electron. If number of exchanges are more, more energy will be released and the energy of orbital becomes less and hence half filled configurations are more stable than the partially filled configurations. Let us take an example chromium. Chromium has the atomic number 24 and its expected electronic configuration is argon 3d 4 4 is true. This is the expected configuration of chromium. Argon 3D4, 4 is true. Let us see the possible exchanges for this configuration. Now, let us place these 4 d electrons in 4 
degenerate orbitals. What do you mean by degenerate orbital? Orbitals with the same energy. Here you can find 5 orbitals with same energy. So these 5 orbitals are said to be degenerate orbitals. Here only 4 electrons are present in 4 orbitals. There is a probability for exchanging their position one with one another. First electron with the second, first electron with the third and first electron with the fourth. There is three exchanges are possible. Similarly for the second electron with the third, second electron with the fourth. So two exchanges are possible. In the same way the third electron can exchange its position with fourth. So one exchange here. So totally six exchanges are possible for this expected configuration. But what is the actual configuration of chromium? It is AR 3D 5 4S 1. To attain the stability, one of the 4S electron is shifted to the 3D orbital in the actual configuration. So, let us see the probable exchanges. Draw this orbital. One, two, three, four, and five. Five electrons with similar spin like this. Now, what are the probable exchanges? The first electron with the second, first electron with the third, first electron with the fourth and the first electron with the fifth. How many exchanges here? Totally four. Similarly for second electron with the third one probability, then second with fourth, second with fifth. Totally three exchanges. Then for the third electron, what are the exchanges? Put the electrons first. The third electron may exchange its position with the fourth and fifth, is it not? And the fourth electron can I change its position with the fifth electron? So here you can find two exchanges and here one exchange. So totally 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. 10 exchanges are possible for this half filled configuration has more number of exchanges hence more energy is released hence this configuration is more stable than the expected configuration. Because of this more number of exchanges, the half filled configuration is more stable than the partially filled configuration for chromium.